Now let's have a look at this example. The absolute value of 1 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 3. Find x. So we've got this absolute value is greater than or equal to 3 and what we now do is the same as before. In the previous example 1 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 3 and since we have a greater than or equal to we have to write or and we have the negative of this negative of 1 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 3 and now we solve both inequalities so we have negative 2x is greater than or equal to 2 or we have negative 1 plus 2x is greater than or equal to 3 this means that x is less than or equal to negative 1 or 2x is greater than or equal to 4 so x is still less than or equal to negative 1 or x is greater than or equal to 2 so now we should once again visualize the situation we have negative 1 here and positive 2 there so x is less than or equal to negative 1 which means we have all of this including negative 1 and x is greater than or equal to 2 is all of this to the right now we have an or in between those inequalities that means x can be either in the interval on the left or it can be in the inter interval on the right but it doesn't have to be in both simultaneously so that means that x is in the interval from negative infinity to negative 1 including negative 1 or x is in the interval from 2 to infinity including 2 another way of writing this would be as the union of these two intervals so we've got this interval and then the union with this interval 